right? That's bad habits. You want to stay tight and quick. Hi guys, this is Laura Kelly from Iconic Eye MMA here with Mark Fior. Um, you guys probably know him, Olympic wrestling coach, and he's put 25 fighters in the UFC, right? Something like that, yeah. It's been it's been going on 15 years, so I, I you know we've we've done a lot for the sport and you know all the big shows, so it's been fun. That's a lot of people. So, so talk to me a little bit about what is the the misconception people have about wrestling. Um, you know, it's it, at the younger age, the it's the one on one, and and nowadays, I, you know, I think the parents, you know, they rather see their kids play basketball or, or teen sport and stuff like that. And um, if the parents and the kids would understand that wrestling is a great foundation for life, not just for MMA, but for life. I mean, you're gonna with wrestling, you're gonna you know discipline learn to be, you know, hard work and um, fight through, you know, the difficult times. And if you get knocked down, get back up. I mean, if you're out in that mat, you know, if you lose, you can't blame the other four guys on the basketball court. You have, you know, one person to blame. And I think I think it's just a good tool. And um, like I said, a good foundation for life. And, um, and especially if these kids want to be an MMA, you know, um, fighter i mean man the best sport is wrestling it's a great foundation for mma and um you know you're gonna learn position uh body awareness and stuff like that and, and it's just a great foundation um you know back in the day you know when i was a kid you know i wanted to be a major league baseball player i wanted to be a nfl football player now these kids they want to be USC fighters. Well, my suggestion for those kids is get into youth wrestling and, and start with that. And that's what I think uh, people talk about. The groundwork is so important. Um, and I just started some jiu-jitsu classes. So <laughs> it's a whole different a whole different element. So. Right. And, and the great thing about wrestling is you control the fight. You know, if you want to keep it standing, you can keep it standing. If you, if you want to take them down with that wrestling background, you can take them down. So that's another great thing about having a wrestling foundation is you can control the fight where you want it, up or down or on the mat, stand in and stuff like that. So talk to me about, um, in, in going along with that, it's, you know, they say getting in the, the octagon is 80% psychological. What do you train your fighters to do? What kind of mindset do they need to go in with? Um, well, when you, know, you got, I mean, if you're at the big stage, you got to accept that you're a professional athlete, you know, and it's kind of kind of makes me upset when these guys are fighting amateurs or, you know, fighting local, you know, pro fights and they're walking around. Oh, I'm a pro fighter. I'm a pro fighter. You know, the, the professional fighters are the guys that are in the big shows. Those are considered the professional fighters. They're the ones that, you know, paid their dues. You know, you got a major league baseball player that plays five, six years in the minor leagues, and his one dream is to fight or is to play in a major league baseball field, something like that, where I think our MMA is too lingual where these guys can say I'm a professional fighter. But um, at the USC letter, you know, for the mental toughness is you got to train and, you know, it's just the same as that baseball player. You know, you want to be the one going up the bat when there's the game's tied and they and you need to perform. I mean, you uh, great professional athletes, the one that can handle all the pressure. Those are your best athletes. Those are your best quarterbacks in, in the NFL, the guys that can handle pressure. And, you know, with MMA, I mean, if you can be great in the gym, in the practice room, but you also have to you have to be great in the cage with the big lights turn on your lights got to turn on so you you train to mentally try to break them in practice so when it comes to the fight it's the easy part and talk to me um we put some facebook questions out if they had some for you or for matt uh, doing the seminar and someone was asking about how nutrition plays a part in wrestling or even in mma what do you advise your fighters out there what what are they eating right i keep it basic i mean you you eat clean 
you know, eat your eat your portions throughout the day. You know, I, you're, I explain it as your you know your vehicle can't run without gasoline. Well, your body can't run without the nutrition going into you, and um, and it's important, like I said, to get your portions in six meals to eight meals a day. Um, get your calories. Um, you know, so you can perform because what we're doing is we're breaking you down. So, it, it, you know, my job is to break you down for two hours. Well, f you better you better refuel in the next four for the next practice, and then you better refuel again, and then you better get proper rest to come back for the next day. It, it's you got to live the lifestyle. You can't just you can't play. You can't act. And, and you know, those are the guys that are oh, I, I just had a hard workout. No, you have to have a hard workout for eight weeks. You know, and so I say eat clean and, 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 you know, and that's your, you know, you basically stay away from fast food. <laughs> and that's hard sometimes because, you know, you're going home, you're like, oh, I'm just too tired and right. Burger King's right there. <laughs> right. So it's just, you know, the best thing is, you know, on Sundays, make your meals and, um, you know, have them portioned out for the whole week kind of deal. But there's ways to do it. And talk to me, I know that you're helping Raquel Pennington. Um, is there anyone else you're training, or what are you doing with her right now? Um, I actually was, I'm trying to retire, and, um, you know, I've had a couple offers. I'm a contract coach. I don't have a gym. I just um, coach for hire. But then I was, uh, was going to retire, and then, uh, you know, I worked with Raquel for her first two fights, and then I kind of told her I was, you know, done. And then she texted me, and I said, hey, coach, I can't do this without you, so... Um, I'm working with Raquel. I've turned down maybe three other UFC fighters. And um, so I'm just kind of trying to slowly get out of the sport. It's good. She needs you and you're yeah. there for her. So she's probably extremely happy. Yeah. About I enjoy working with Raquel. She's, she's fun. She's a hard worker. You know, that's her one weakness is, is her, is her, you know, is her mindset. You know, we just, she's got to believe how good she is she's got to believe how as much as i think she could be a champion she's got to believe that you know otherwise she's got all the tools she's a hard worker she's you know she lives the lifestyle so we just got to work on her mental and speaking of mental we are here at grudge training center and why mark is here is that he and matt hughes are hosting a series of seminars to get people better mentally physically what kinds of things are we going to be learning about in these seminars or for others you might be doing around the country later on? Um, you know, what, when I do seminars, I, you know, I love the people when they come up to me afterwards and say, hey, thank you, I've learned so much. You know, I don't go in here and show two, three moves and, all right, where's my paycheck? My goal is I come in here, I try to, you know, show them 30 different things. You know, if they don't understand it, then maybe their buddy did and their buddy got this, their buddy got that, so they can share it. Uh, my whole goal is to, is to teach them the basics and the fundamentals of MMA. And uh, we'll be going over, you know, some stand-ups and, and, you know, takedowns off of, off of stuff and cage work and, and some submissions and stuff like that. But with Matt and I, you know, we have nothing but fun. Uh, we we known each other for 20 years, and, and there's no stress in our life. We have fun. It's a good team. Yeah. So. Is there anything you want to add before we wrap up? Or I just want to thank Rudge for having having me and um, having Matt. And um, you know, let's if you're interested in wanting to do a seminar, give you know, Facebook me and and um, let's get it going. And I have had some questions about that down in Florida, so I'll tell you about that in a little bit. So, all right, um, thank you, Mark Fior, Laura Kelly for Iconic High MMA. Thank you.